This is a woolly mammoth. And if you went to school, you were likely told that the woolly mammoth went extinct during the end of the last ice age. Their thick fur and heavy bodies poorly adapted for a newer, brighter and hotter world. But this is a lie. I'm here to tell you the sad story of the last woolly mammoths that survived well beyond the last ice age, coexisting with ancient Egyptian and Mesopotamian civilizations only 4,000 years ago. The story of the mammoth begins over 55 million years ago, when the first proboscideans emerged. The clade that contains all elephants. Being mammals, their closest living relatives are the Serenians, you know, sea cats, and the Hyraxes, which is surprising, but in a good way. I mean, just look at them. For those that are confused as to well how, these mammals all belong to the Paeangolotomorpha clade, which groups them together based on similar traits. I'll put the definition up on screen now. The woolly mammoth or Mammophis primigenius emerged in Europe between 600 to 500,000 years ago, descending from <coughs> Mammophis trogonferi, the steppy mammoth, which migrated into Europe only 1 million to 800,000 years ago, replacing an earlier Mammophis meridionalis. Taking inspiration from history, the woolly mammoth replaced M. Ferry in Europe some 200,000 years ago and then migrated into North America during the late Pleistocene, coexisting with the Colombian mammoth Mammophis columbi, which also descends from Mammophis Ferry. It went extinct 12,000 years ago as part of the late Pleistocene extinctions. The woolly mammoth represented one of the last, if not the last generation of mammoths, which first appeared 6.2 million years ago, starting with Mammophis subplanifrons that roamed southern and eastern Africa. Most of you have been told that the mammoth's extinction coincided with the recession of the last ice age that lasted 115,000 to 11,700 years ago. But this is wrong. Despite losing over 90% of their viable habitat over 34,000 years, the mammoths stubbornly still clung to the sweet delusion of life. Some of you may say, if not the climate changing, then human hunting drove them to extinction. There is some truth to this. The woolly mammoths of eastern Berlin died out 13,300 years ago, just 1,000 years after humans migrated to the region. Used to construct tents, clothing and tools, mammoths were prime targets for human hunters, with mammoth tusks being considerably larger than that of modern elephants. In fact, many megafauna species likely shared a similar fate of overhunting, but that's a topic for another video. But fortunately, this is wrong. Just like the Tasmanian tiger, passenger pigeon, the dodo and stellar sea, cow, you can't hunt a species to extinction, but you can push it along the way. Ha! Ah! And the woolly mammoth proves this, with human hunting simply hastening the extinction of the mammoth populations throughout the mainland. But the same can't be said for some islands, where woolly mammoth populations survived into the early years of human civilization. Somehow, mammoths found their way onto St. Paul Island across Alaska and survived there until 5,600 years ago. But eventually, God took notice and corrected the issue. The combination of rising sea levels, increasing dryness of island vegetation, and destruction of available freshwater led these mammoths to their doom. Going back to the mainland, mammoths did survive in Yukon until 5,700 years ago, and a valiant effort in the Tamiya Peninsula just 4,100 years ago. But the world was changing, and the mammoths simply couldn't keep up in the race against extinction. The last population of woolly mammoths are found on Wrangell Island, an island plagued by freezing cold winters and snowstorms reaching 40 meters per second. So naturally, this island is a breeding ground for polar bears, ring seals, walruses, and many bird species in today's world. With an area of 7,600 kilometers squared, this island hosted the last 200 to 300 woolly mammoths the world would ever see. Surviving for 6,000 years, these last woolly mammoths suffered from inbreeding and low genetic diversity over 20 generations, having originated from just eight members. 
losing 20 to 30 percent of their heterozygosity and 65 percent in mitochondrial DNA diversity. Genes for olfactory receptors and uridine proteins became non-functional. A substantial reduction in the diversity in major histocompatibility complex was observed, a group of genes known to play critical roles in vertebrate immune responses. A genomic meltdown seemed imminent, but this wasn't the case. The mammoth population was threatened by inbreeding and decreasing genetic diversity, but harmful mutations were surprisingly low in this population. Moderate mutations were present in high frequencies, but were not enough to threaten extinction. If a mutation is harmful enough, then it is simply not viable. Able to withstand losing a few members each generation is what kept the bad mutations out of the population. It is not enough to get a species numbers back up. You must monitor the genetic health of each generation. The European bison faced extinction with just 12 members left before people realized maybe you can hunt a species to extinction. And the same also happened to the American bison and the northern elephant seal, which had just 30 members in the 1890s. So kiddies, even if the woolly mammoth did survive, it would have been hunted to extinction long before anyone would care to preserve it. It, same with the dinosaurs. So what happened? Well, it wasn't the climate changing, as central and southern portions of Wrangell Island are described as relics of the mammoth steppe, the mammoth's preferred habitat during the Ice Age. But the entire population died very suddenly 4,000 years ago. Their last 300 years is still a mystery, with genomic sequencing not yet completed on specimens within the last generations. But something did happen. Likely an invasive species arrived and consumed the available food sources, or maybe a disease outbreak wiped out the mammoths. With low genetic diversity, this seems likely. Humans did live on the island some 3,700 years ago, but it is unknown if the humans hunted these mammoths to extinction. Which brings us to their sad story. This is the sad story of the last woolly mammoth. Make sure to stick all the way to the end. Brother, you must stop. They are all gone. Rest now, brother. No, my brother. There are others beyond the tall ground, beyond the vast blue lake. I can feel it. I know it to be true. No, my brother. They are all gone. It is we who remain. I petition your sanity, brother. Do not let this madness consume you. Madness! You speak of madness! Where is the sanity in all this, brother? Our mother, father, sister, lover, and many more have all felled, plagued by sickness and deformity. It is we who remain, wrapped in this prison. Brother, no! Do not leave! The tides are strong and the water vast. You will not make it! I pity you, brother. Afraid of the unknown, you watch as our kind fall, reduced to nothing. Once the ground shook and trembled under our steps, but now we are merely its substance. Brother, stay! Do not leave me here! Goodbye, brother. Remember this day as you live the next, afraid of the unknown, standing by and doing nothing, while our kind die in this cruel world. And that's it. They all died. Like elephants, mammoths were very intelligent creatures with deep emotional bonds. So I can only imagine what it would have been like to see literally everyone you know die and be completely incapable of doing anything about it. But hey, life moves on. The circle of life and all that crap, the world doesn't stop just because you're sad. The gift of life truly is wonderful. Living is a blessing. Live your life to the fullest, hey? Hmm, I'm not sure. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all the support you give me, and I hope to see you in the next video.